Politics meets Pokemon in Louisville today. You heard that right. Politics meeting Pokemon Go. Thanks for staying with us tonight at 530. I'm Doug Prophet. And I'm Renee Murphy. Millions of people around the world are playing that popular game and volunteers in one of the most important Kentucky races look to cash in on that craze. <laughs> well, new here at 530, our political editor Chris Williams discovered some players had an easier time identifying characters rather than a candidate. On one of the hottest days of the year, <laughs> the hottest game around found players with eyes laser focused on their phones hunting a stretch of Bartstown Road. I went on a run to get some Pokeballs, and uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in Bartstown Road today. On the Pokemon Go game trail. And there's like six Pokemon out right now, so you just catch them. I don't know. Stand with Fred! Stand with Fred! The unsuspecting Fred. players had no idea they were also on the campaign trail. Lured here by volunteers for Republican U.S. Senator Rand Paul. A young campaign volunteer hatched a plan to create the so called Pokey Stop. She used her own funds to set game lures that would lead Pokemon players to the area. Once the competitors stumbled up the sidewalk, supporters recruited them to support Kentucky's junior senator who's running for re election against Lexington Mayor Jim Gray. That's, that's pretty genius for a politician to do it. I mean, it's appealing to the young people especially, but the thing with Pokemon is that it's like, I know people that are 60 playing this game too, especially on the streets. And while the lures lured a handful of players, several were much more familiar with the game characters than the guy running for re-election. I mean, I've heard the name Rand Paul before, and you know, my roommates are really big into politics, so I can definitely become uh, a little bit more aware. Are you into politics at all? No. Well, you know who Rand Paul is, right? He's the U.S. Senator from Kentucky. He's up for re-election. No, I don't know. Some of the people who came by had never heard of Rand Paul before. They play Pokemon. They know what Pokemon is, but they didn't know who Rand Paul was. Well, uh, that means that we're doing our job. We're letting them know who Rand Paul is, and um, I think that's incredibly important. The effort netted about 50 new registered supporters, most of whom were not playing Pokemon at all, but just happened to be walking down Bardstown Road during the lunch hour. Volunteers were not disappointed. Instead, they saw it as a learning experience as they considered taking the creature canvassing effort to college campuses this fall. On the Pokemon Go and campaign trail in Louisville, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News. And we're told that while many of Rand Paul's volunteer campaign workers play the game, the senator has yet to catch Pokemon fever.